Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon EOS C300 Mark II video tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about focus assist features and not things like peaking and magnification, things having to do with focusing your image. So we'll talk about dual pixel, CMOS AF, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's get into the menu system. So we're in the camera setup menu and I'm gonna scroll down to focus. And right now you'll see that almost all of my options are grayed out. And there's a reason for that. My lens is set to MF or manual focus. As soon as I move that over to AF, then these options become available. So let's talk about AF mode first of all. We have three choices. We have continuous, which is a continuous autofocus. We have AF boosted manual focus, which is basically allowing you to manually focus the image and then an AF system will kick in when it's close to focusing on the object or person. And then we also have one shot. Let's use one shot right now. So I'm gonna select that, step out of the menu and I have George and Julia here in the frame and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the joystick and I'm gonna move this focus box around and I'm just gonna put that over Julia's face and then the assignable button number 11 on the body of the camera says one shot. I'll hold that down and then I'll get a focus confirmation when we see that little box in green. Now, let me jump back into the focus menu, talk about a couple of other things that you need to know about when you're using these features. The first one is AF frame position. We can change that either to selectable, which is what I had before, so I could move it around with the joystick, or we could make it center frame. But to me, really, the power is being able to select where in the frame you're moving it. And just as another note, we can move it around to 80% of the image area that we're looking at. So this is a huge change and improvement over even the previous Cinema EOS cameras that had dual pixel CMOS AF. Then we have AF frame size. We can actually make that larger. It makes it easier in certain shooting situations to find an object and get focus on that object. Of course, when you're using it for people, I generally like to use the smaller focus area. Now, we can go ahead and activate our face detection and tracking option. Turn that on, and as soon as we do that and we step out of here, we will see especially because Julia is looking towards the camera that we have a face detection. George is now gonna to turn towards the camera and we can use the joystick to cycle between the two people. And then I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna select Julia and hold down one shot and boom, now she's in focus. So that's your face detection system with one shot. Now, going back into the menu, what I'm going to do is also talk to you about face AF and how that works. When we go in here, we have two choices. We have face only and we have face priority. The difference is when you set it to face only, the system is only looking for faces. So that's what it's gonna latch onto. When we use face priority, when we go off of a face, it will latch onto other objects within the frame. Basically faces will take priority, but then it will also focus on other objects. So that's face detection using one shot with the camera system. What we're gonna do now is reset this up a little bit differently so I can show you some other focus features in the camera. So we got a little setup here, kind of a tabletop with a rack focus and I wanna show you AF boosted MF. So camera operator is gonna go into the menu and when he does that under AF mode, we're gonna choose AF boosted manual focus. So now we have AF boosted MF and it has actually been activated. And why would we use this? Well, you know, some people really do want to manually focus, but they could use just a little bit of assistance, especially if you're a one man band and you're running and gunning, but you still want to manually focus. So when we see this yellow frame, camera's basically saying, do something. It's urging you to do something, get focus. So James is actually gonna go ahead and start to focus. And at a certain point, this box is gonna turn white. We're gonna get AF confirmation. He can actually let go of the lens as soon as that box turns white because the AF kicks in and it finishes getting critical focus. Um, let's go ahead and now move. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do a little move here. Kind of like an insert, turns yellow, do something. And then he's gonna start to turn that. It turns white, he lets go, and then we get the AF kicking in. So really, really nice. Now, if you could do me a favor and just go back into the menu and just scroll down to AF speed, 
One of the other really cool things about the autofocus features in here is we can actually set the speed in which that AF kicks in. I actually have it set right now to a minus seven because I have a nice ramp on there. Why don't you go ahead and change that to, let's say a zero for now. So up to that, select it, perfect, step out of there. Let's go back to the bowl of fruit and yellow box, start to focus and it's gonna kick in. And then did you see how much faster that was right there? It kicked in, the speed was much, much faster. So you get to adjust that as well. And that doesn't just work with AF boosted MF, it's working with the entire AF system with the C300 Mark II. Now I wanna show you something else. We're gonna do another setup, so let's go. So we have another setup, and now we're gonna talk about some other cool stuff having to do with focusing with the camera, AF features. We're gonna go into the menu, and under our AF mode, we're gonna change that to continuous. So we have continuous AF, and because we have three people in the frame here, we are going to turn on face detection and tracking. So right now I have face AF set to face only. So it's really only going to try to detect faces and track those. And then boom, we have face detection for all three of our talent. Using the joystick, I can decide who I want to have in focus. I'm gonna choose Frankie, who's on the left side of the frame right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and frame this up for a shot. And why don't you go ahead and just get up and just walk. Frankie, and we'll see what that's like. There we go, and we're tracking, and you can see that that's holding on, and then we're just gonna let him walk out of frame, and then if I come back to George and Julia, there we have our face tracking again. So here's another quick thing to show you. I'm gonna go into the menu, and let's just take a look at our settings. Continuous AF, I have a large AF frame size, just so you can see what I have here. I'm on face priority and I'm now looking at something called AF response, and it's set to plus three. And the idea of AF response is if I'm locked onto a face and something else comes into the frame, we can actually set the sensitivity of how fast or slow it's gonna to try to lock onto that other thing. And it's a plus three to minus three setting. will either be more or less sensitive to grabbing focus or trying to latch focus onto something else that comes into the frame. So let's just go ahead and leave this right now at a plus three, which would mean that it would be more likely to grab onto focus on something in the frame. And I'm just gonna have George cross the frame slowly. Let's just go ahead and have him cross and let's take a look at our frame here. And you saw right there, it just went out of focus and then it hunted and went right back onto Julia. So I'm gonna go back into my menu under AF response. I'm gonna set that to be less sensitive to other things coming into the frame, a minus three now. Uh, George, I'm gonna actually have you come back to your original position if that's cool. And I am going to have you do the same exact thing with the minus three AF response. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And he's crossing frame and there you have it. It just kept focus on Julia the whole time. So we're gonna talk about another focusing feature on the camera and that is tracking. And it's not the normal face tracking that we've been looking at. So I'm actually gonna have the camera operator go into the menu now. We're gonna go into the focus menu and there's a couple of things that you need to make sure that you have set in order to do this. Number one, you need to have face detect and tracking on. And number two, face AF needs to be set to face priority. Now he's gonna back out of this, and what we wanna do is assign the tracking feature to one of the assignable buttons. He's gonna go down to system setup, to assignable buttons, and then inside of there, we're gonna assign one of the camera body buttons to this. Uh, yeah, let's use Zebra, and go into button number three, and then scroll up and we're gonna look for tracking. And there it is, and that's gonna now get assigned to button number three on the camera body. Uh, we're gonna step out, he's gonna hit button number three, and then we're gonna get the tracking feature. We move this onto the cup, and then press select when it's on the cup, and we should see a box around that. And then we're gonna go ahead and see that move. It's gonna go from there to the table and it's tracking it. So that's a really cool feature. Now I wanna show you something having to do with manually focusing, 
with EF lenses on the C300 Mark II. So the last focus assistance feature I want to show you is the dual pixel focus guide, and it's one of my favorites. You have to assign it to one of the buttons. In fact, it is assigned by default to the assignable button on the grip unit, and I can show you that right here. And I'm going to press that button on the grip unit. So there's our focus guide, and right now it's telling us it has nothing to help us to focus on because it's just on a white wall. So I'm going to use the joystick and move this onto Julia. So you can see here we have the arrows on the top, and where they're pointing, it's telling me I need to get closer focus. So I'm going to turn that to the right, and there we have tack sharp focus. Now let me move this focus guide over to George, and you'll see that the arrows now have changed, and I need to go ahead and turn the lens to the left because I need to get focus further away. And then I will go ahead and you'll see those guides. And boom, there we are, tack sharp focus. So that is your focus guide. To me, this is huge because there are a lot of people in production who like to just manually focus. But now we have something telling us which way we have to focus and it will tell us when we're tack sharp. So that dual pixel focus guide is one of my favorites. I love to manually focus and it just gives me more confidence when I'm doing that. I know exactly which way to turn the lens in order to get that tack sharp focus and then it gives me that confirmation. But all of the other stuff that we looked at in terms of AF, continuous, one shot, AF boosted, MF, all really fantastic tools that you're gonna use in different productions in different environments. Try all of this stuff, you'll find out what works for you. And those are the focus assistant features that I wanted to cover in this video on the C300 Mark II.